Happy New Year, everyone. This is Grant with State of the Spark and Spark Sites, and we're super pumped that you're here. It's January. I love January. It's like my favorite holiday. You guys are all pumped. The top thing that you guys have asked us from last year is how can Spark Sites provide a way to more affordably create um, ranking that goes higher? And our response is, is content, content, content. We've given you the top search engine optimization plugin around, and lots of people have it. But not lots of people use it, and not lots of people use it in a skilled way. You have it in the back of your website. Log in and go look for that SEO thing. Give us a buzz and, and uh, holler at us directly if you need more direction on it. Now, we've trained you all how to use it, but few of you are using it. Me and Marissa were looking at all the Google Analytics for the entire year. You know whose websites are getting more traffic and have an average higher ranking in their search terms? Those of you blogging. Some of you pay us to blog. Some of you blog, Nancy at The Peace Within, we've seen you blog and do posts, your, your, uh, your ranking is going up. Some of you, we saw your stats drop, we realized you're not blogging. And when I looked at your sites, you didn't blog all holiday. So this is just proof positive in data behind the fact that your search ranking, when people look up your business or businesses like yours, yours will come up if you are adding content. It doesn't have to be a blog, we can just add pages to your site in a regular way. But either way, content is what? Content is king. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This has been around for almost 10 years now and people still are not jumping on the bandwagon as much as you could. So real quick, I wanna tell you real quick, a change in paradigm, something to think about and how it changes and affects your ranking. So really quick, keywords. You guys that are starting to get serious about content have said, hey Grant, um, keywords, how do I rank for these keywords? There is a huge amount of misperceptions about keywords. It's not just about keywords. We're not gonna just start stuffing your keywords. You, I could tell you, hey, gardening, but like gardening with what? We gotta niche out a little bit. So keywords are majorly confusing. So to stop the confusion, I've come up with this kind of acrostic, if you will. It's gin. What it stands for is this, geography. Follow me here. Industry and nuance. Okay, so what this means is simply this. Your keyword, your keywords that you are going for should have these three elements. It should be gin, it should be solid, it should have geography. Where are you at? Where are you at? If you're in a small market like Lakeland, you could use Lakeland. If you're in a big uh, uh, market like New York City, find your borough. Whatever that is, narrow your geography to something you can crush. Narrower is better. Then your industry. Then talk about, in Gina Bullock's example, the pet nanny. She's gonna talk about Lakeland's pet nanny, right? If she's in New York or one of the boroughs, she's gonna be the queen's pet nanny or whatever it is. And then the nuance, right? So when we talk about keywords, every single post needs to have gin. He said geography, industry, and nuance going on with that particular post. So in general, your keyword, you have like a, a macro keyword you're trying to score for. Let's say, in Gina's example, she's going for pet sitting, right? So that's her industry. So what happens to get here, you don't start at the top. This is a pyramid, this is the golden capstone of the pyramid. You don't start at the top and just say, I'm gonna rank for that. You actually have to build a foundation. And that foundation is often what we call um, uh, the, the content uh, baseline, sorry, content baseline. And each of these posts down here, this represents different posts. And each post is gonna have something about pet sitting, and then something about her geography, and then each, the difference of each of these is gonna be the nuance. So nuance one, so maybe she's gonna be talking about uh, the five tips on hiring a pet sitter. Maybe she's gonna be talking about the, the, the top things your pet sitter should be doing when visiting your place. Security and your home with the pet sitter. She's gonna have a ton of topics go on, boom, and that's gonna be her foundation. Now each of these, she could be talking in here, these could be her keywords, or I'm sorry, her tags or her categories. This could be about the pet sitting business in Lakeland. And this could be about best practices for pet sitting in Lakeland. The point is, is on her blog, her blog on the right hand side of her blog, it might actually list these categories. 
So the more you start granule and build a whole baseline of content using gen, geography, industry, and nuance, and that starts to bubble up into some sort of organization and slowly over time, you're gonna score for this one. So, and the hope is this, someone goes into Google and types in pet sitter. And then hopefully Gina's website with us comes up. She might start be doing that already. What happens is, is Google is looking for geography. It reads your little computer and goes, hey, what IP address do you have? And if Gina is only doing Lakeland, she's gonna score lower, say for example, Bartell. So over time, she might have pet sitting Bartow and distribute similar content. So here's my point. All you have to remember is geography, industry, nuance, gin. Focus in on a tight geography, as tight as you can dominate. And once you dominate that and score high for Lakeland or wherever you're at, then start expanding into other geographical markets and you'll be leveraged. And then slowly, instead of someone having to type in Gina's pet sitting service Lakeland, which of course she's going to score, instead of having them to type in Gina, maybe they type in pet sitting Lakeland and then she'll score. And then slowly after over time, she'll, they'll just be able to type in pet sitting and score. This is a concept, it takes time, it's not overnight, and it's content. Some people might be able to promise to pull tricks and do things to help you rank higher. On the long term, that's gonna hurt your brand with Google search algorithm. This is the only tried and true way, and the proof is in the pudding. If you want the analytics, let us know. We've got all of the analytics, and we can show you a general overview of those of you who are blogging, or at least adding content regularly and linking back to your site. You're scoring with new visitors, new leads, and I dare tell you probably most of you have a better, more robust business. That's my tip for January. Reach out to us. We will help you plan this out. This is how, this planning is what we can do for you at that um, member rate. So feel free to reach out to us so that your site can have the edge for Google search. And in general, why do we do that? So that your business can have an edge in the area. So we bless you guys. We wish you the best this year. Please reach out to us and let us know how we can serve you and watch for a product coming soon on how we're going to actually be able to offer this to you at an even more reduced rate. Give us a buzz. Have a great January. Be blessed.